Greetings, Kalium TV, and welcome to episode number two of 360 with C3. Today we'll be talking about scale length, what it means, why it's important to know what your scale length is, and how it affects your string choice. But first, I want to give a huge shout out to Matteo, Danny, David, Luciano, and Stefano of Chaos Plague. Thanks for the awesome CD and the awesome shirt, man. Thanks for being customers forever. You guys are freaking awesome. Y'all need to check them out. Chaos Plague, they're awesome. They are from my favorite place on earth, Italy. Italian metal. Doesn't get much better. Back to scale length. So what is scale length and why is it important? Well, simply put, the scale length of your instrument is the distance between the saddle on your bridge and the nut or zero fret on your instrument, depending on you know, the style of instrument you play. And why is knowing this important? Well, the scale length combined with the gauge of string and the tension that you pull it to makes up the fundamental frequency of the open tuning of the string. So, it's all math. So, at first, guitars and basses pretty much fell into two separate scale lengths. Um, the standard guitars fell between a 24 and 26 in scale length, and you know, I am generalizing here, but it's just to give you an idea. Uh, and the basses were 33 to 35 inch in range. Um, there are documents online that list out all the popular scale lengths of instruments these days, um, you know, everything from the Les Paul to the Quake basses. Uh, I've included a couple of those links in uh, the description below, so check them out. But it's important to know what your scale length is so that when you're determining what strings to use, um, you get the right ones and you put you know, the strings that give you the sound and the feel you want on that bass. Uh, for example, a 102 gauge bass string is gonna feel a lot different on a 33.75 inch scale Rickenbacker than it will a 35 inch scale Pratt. It's gonna be a lot looser on the Rickenbacker, a lot tighter on the Pratt. And with the increasing number of builders who are venturing into extended scale instruments like baritone guitars, fan fret, multi-scale instruments, and long scale basses, it's really important to know what you're dealing with uh, so you can get the proper set of strings. Even if it's not from us, you know, we wanna make sure you know, all you folks out there have you know, the knowledge you need to uh, make the right choices. So again, it's so important to know the exact scale length of your instrument. Uh, at Kalium, we offer three different scale lengths of guitar string and three different scale lengths of bass string. Why do we do this? Well, you get into the thicker three wrap strings and you have to make sure that that outer wrap never reaches the tuning peg. If that outer wrap reaches the tuning peg, wraps around it, and you pull it to tension, it's going to break. It's just basic physics. So you have to make sure you get the right string for the right use. Um, so all of that are three wrap strings come in three different lengths in both guitar and three different lengths in bass to accommodate the different scale lengths of guitar and bass. Uh, the sizes for bass are standard. This is for your 34 to 35 inch scale basses. That's pretty much where 90% of you fall. Um, you know, your P bass, your Jazz bass, your Ibanez, you know, your Fenders, Gibsons, blah, blah, blah. Medium is for the 36 to 37 inch scale lengths like Dingwall fan fret basses, the Knuckle, Pratt, Watson, and the new Ibanez fan fret bass uses uh, are medium scale strings. The long scale is for the 39 to 40 inch scale like the giant shark you just saw here um, for a lot of crazy custom shop stuff. Uh, like the Quake and, and, and this. Um, for guitars, we do something very similar. Uh, you shorten the lengths up a little bit. The standard guitar string will go up to a 29 inch in scale length. The medium guitar is a 30 to 31 inch scale length for a lot of baritone and some of the new fan frets that you're seeing on the market. Uh, the long guitar length is for things like the bass six from Fender. Uh, there's a similar model from Schecter as well as some of these fan fret and multi-scale uh, guitars that some of these crazy builders are making. So we make strings for all three of these different ranges of instruments. So sometimes when you are playing outside the box, you need to do a little research to ensure you get products that work for your instrument. And again, not just ours, you got to check in to everybody, get those tech sheets. So that leads us to our spec sheet. On our site, we have a PDF that shows the technical specifications of our strings. It's important to know more than just your scale length. The bridge also plays a huge part in choosing the right string. If you look at our PDF, you will see that our strings have a 1.625 inch taper at the ball end. This is shorter than most manufacturers and it makes our strings incompatible with a through body guitar stringing like on the Schecters. But why we do it is we keep more of the mass of the string in the voicing area rather than having a lot of exposed core or one wrap uh, at your uh, bridge pickup. 
The PDF also contains wind-out information and core information. This is important for freaks like me with a 24-string bass where the headstock is this damn long and most over-the-counter strings won't even reach the top tuning peg. So check it out. There's a lot of information on that PDF. Educate yourself on the scale lengths of all your instruments. You may find yourself mixing up your string sets because you have instruments of different scale lengths. So I hope this just gives everyone kind of an introduction, a scale length 101, might you say, um, and some background that helps you educate yourself more and getting the right products uh, on your instruments, whether from us or one of our competitors. We just want to make sure you're making educated decisions. Part two of this will be covering the tension calculator and tension info in general. So stick around for that part, because combined with this video, it'll really help you pick out uh, the right strings. Also, next time you're on the website, check out the Kalium True Sub at kaliumstrings.com slash sound. It's going to bring a life into your bass that you've probably never experienced before. They're truly amazing. We demoed them at NAMM, got lots of great feedback, and they are ready for production in passive mode, and we'll have an active version that's powered out real soon. We are also going to be releasing a whole new line of instruments from Kalium this year. They're not really new, but we're actually going to get them into full production. You'll now be able to get a 39.5 inch scale Quake. You'll be able to see the Shark in normal and extended scale, as well as we will be resurrecting uh, one of my favorite body designs, the Churchill. Uh, there's a few of those out there. I know you guys love them. They're back. They're going to be available this year. So uh, those are great announcements too. You can get the Churchill, the Quake, the Shark and everything else that we've kind of brought to life. The sub, the strings. So lots of new stuff happening for us uh, on the horizon this year. So uh, until next time, you guys, have a great day and keep playing.